When talking about the approach, there's many things that go into it. Stance, push away, timing, body position, finish position. In this segment, Rod and Kim are gonna go through and tell you a few things to look for and some tips on how to make your best approach. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the arm swing. There's a very important part of a consistent delivery and accuracy going down the lane. We wanna start with the ball between your chin and your shoulder here in the stance. But you have two options. You can take the ball around your body during the approach or take your body around the ball. We want you to take your body around the ball in the stance. So if I take the ball here in front and just push forward up the lane, go ahead if you wish to, you know it's gonna run into his leg. So what we wanna do with this ball side foot the very first step of the ball side foot is step in front of the slide foot to create a path for this ball to drop in nice tight to our body. If we don't do that, the ball has to come around the body. So if it comes around the body, when it comes back down, the swing is going to have to come around the body again. This is going to create inconsistency of our launch angles going down the lane. If you let go of the ball early, it's going to miss to the outside. If you let go of it late, it's going to miss on the inside. The advantage of stepping in front of your slide foot right here at the start and let the ball drop into the slot, it's going to keep it straight back, straight forward. If you let go of it early or if you let go of it late, it's still going to be online. Okay, the keys for a good arm swing is keeping consistency and the angles all straight as we take the ball back and forward towards our target. So as we initiate that start and that push, we want to have that crossover step so we can keep the swing tight to our body. As the swing goes back, we want to keep it in line to our body to the top of the backswing. At the very top, you'll notice that the swing, the bowling ball, and the head are all in line to his target. This enables to him that at this point, you can just let the ball drop, not change direction, and it will go to the target line. This enables a bowler to have a nice free swing, consistency at the release, and control his launch angles. So the key here is at the top of the backswing, we just let it rest, and it's just like it's coming down a ramp. You just let the ball drop straight down underneath the head to the release position.